Today's episode is all about what to do when things get a little bit out of control. If you want to know, just stick around and I'll tell you how. I'm John Paulus. Thanks for joining me on Life's Potluck Buffet. There are a lot of videos about control and flow and all sorts of things related to how to handle things when, well, things get out of control. And I have a very simple way of thinking about this. Yesterday featured card 52 of the Life's Potluck Buffet deck. And card 52 is when it comes to life, we are all Dali. Basically, it means there are no rules because that's the way Dali operated in his work life, as was on clear display on that episode of What's My Line in January of 1957, which you can see in the comments of yesterday's video. And this is also the theme of card 17, everything that happens to us is only partly our doing, and card 14, if you're in a race against yourself, you can never catch up. And all of these things have to do with a kind of expansiveness that I'll talk about using an analogy that I think is very helpful. And that analogy has to do with figure skating. If you know about the physics of figure skating, you know that if a skater is spinning and they pull their arms into their body, they start spinning faster. And that's a matter of just the laws of nature. These same laws of nature apply to our work and our lives. And thinking of our lives as a matter of figure skating and of spinning as a figure skater, then we start to see that when things get into a spiral and start what we might describe as spinning out of control, when we pull in our extremities in terms of the figure skating, what happens? The spiral gets tighter, the spin gets faster. So in other words, by contracting instead of expanding, we make the problem worse. The spin gets faster. Now think of this in relation to our work lives. By trying to get things under our control when they are out of our control results in things getting worse. The spiral that we so dread becomes faster, tighter, and just plain worse. But by expanding, by going with the movement, by going with the change, instead of pulling ourselves in, everything slows down and becomes easier. So when you're in that spiral, when you say, oh, all of this change is going on, and it's there's all this new stuff going on and there are all these issues going on and this and you see it you think things are spiraling out of control rather than trying to get things under control allow things to be out of your control because when that happens you regain all the stability that you need to keep going forward. So when they talk about this in the physics of figure skating, it's called, uh, it's called increasing your moment of inertia. And the, when, you, when you let your arms and legs out, that's what happens, is you increase your moment of inertia, and that decreases the angular momentum which is increased by pulling your arms in. 
I'm going to put a video in the comments so that you can check that out. So in our life, what we're looking to do to solve the problem of something being out of control is to increase our moment of inertia. I think that's a good way of putting it because we understand that that means expanding ourselves, and that's a positive thing. It's nice to see change as a kind of inertia. We don't usually think of it that way. We think of, if we're familiar with basic physics and science, we, we think of inertia as being the rule from Newtonian physics. A body in motion is, tends to stay in motion. A body at rest stays at rest. So the inertia of change, and, and I talked about change and how it uh, accelerates and which is kind of fitting in our discussion here, but change has a way of accelerating to a sudden to a point, and then that point is that point at which um, everything is different. But it accelerates to that point; it doesn't gradually go to that point. Thinking of it this way is really helpful to me because it makes the change a matter of inertia. So something that you know you'd be. You know, I would say like, you know, stop, you know, there's a car that's rolling forward, you know, not not accelerating, just rolling forward. Uh, the It's in neutral and it's rolling forward there. And what's going to happen? Well, it's going to continue rolling. Um, we know that. And we don't say, OK, I can just step in front of this car and I'll stop it. We know how that would not be useful. So in the same way, thinking of change as this kind of inertia that is a force that figuring out how to stop that car or slow down its roll is a matter of not trying to defy the laws of nature. And same thing is true with all change in our work, our lives, and the world. But I don't want to mix my metaphors too much, so I won't talk any more about cars. So we've been talking about spinning and figure skating. Shall we? Oh, and cars. So shall we take the cards for a spin? Oh, that wor- that that united the metaphors because you take cars for a spin, and we're talking about spinning in figure skating. Okay, so I am going to not shuffle today. What I'm going to do is. Um, spin them and have to figure out how to do this. Uh, I guess I'll I guess I'll do it down here on the floor and and we'll see what what comes out. All right, so here we go. Oh, there we are. All right. I guess what I'll do now is find a card. Oh, and guess which card is on top of this whole pile of cards that are strewn about the floor. It's passions are for hobbies. Well, there is a case of inertia that the cards really are not letting go. So I guess I should just roll with it, cards. And I will. Ah, that feels much better. (laughs) 